Yo guys, Dead here, welcome back to another video, and in today's video guys, um, as you can see on the screen, we've got Evil Nam, and um, also, this time, if we go back here, everything is back to normal, I've managed to fix the weird glitchy error we had before. <laughs> but um, I will announce something guys, quickly in this video. It is kind of embarrassing for me, but quite frankly, a few of you guys may know, but um, I accidentally, so um, let me just give you some context. The Prawler skin in Fortnite had come out, and I was trying to record a video unlocking the skin, and I did unlock the skin, but for whatever reason, I accidentally started streaming, as well as recording, so I pressed the keybind that I press, which is Control alt r for me, to start recording. And it did start recording, but it, it, like, it started streaming at the same time, and I don't know why. Um, but anyway, I was live for about, how long was it? About an hour, 45 minutes, something like that, and I didn't even realize I was live. And then, I, um, I checked OBS when I switched off, I switched off the recording, I checked OBS and I found out that I was streaming and recording at the same time. And then, I tried to turn off the recording and the stream at the same time, and um, it stopped the stream, but it didn't stop the recording properly. And now the re the recording is corrupted and just isn't working properly. So that was a bit of a fail. But um, if you are planning on going and checking my Twitch, there's no point. The stream is not there anymore. So um, I guess that's kind of exclusive content for you guys who did just... I don't know how, I think it was just one of you guys who happened to log on to that stream. <clears throat> but regardless, that is something else. This is an Evil Nun video. <clears throat> now if you recall in the last video, guys, we, um, <clears throat> if you recall in the last video, we did, um, we unlocked the mask piece, however, we were having a weird, glitchy frame loading problem. Which, as you can see right now, is gone. I can load up my frames just fine. And, um, anyway, I don't know, that was just some sort of technical difficulty. We're gonna unlock the, um, we're gonna unlock the second mask piece, because I unlocked one in the last video, even though you couldn't properly see it, I did unlock a mask piece in the last video, so it's time to go down into this bunker area and get another challenge. As you can see, one of these is greyed out, one of these pictures is open, and there is one piece of the mask in the mysterious mold. Oh yeah, that's right, we have to go and find the grail. Kind of forgot about that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here? No, 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 you can't be down here. <coughs> Come on, if she follows me down these stairs, I can... Oh wait, she's coming back up. I think she's gone. Okay, we're dipping. Also, let's turn the volume up a bit. Okay, so we're one minute and 40 seconds in for the leaderboard, as you can see. Right, so first things first, we need to restore the electrical current. Hold on, see here. What, what, what's with the music? There was... Okay, you know what? It doesn't even matter. Let's play the bad opera song and jump down here. Right, 
Right, now that we've unlocked a lot more of the school, we need to find the Grail. Now, the Grail is usually making a loud whistling sound when you're near it, so we won't be able to miss it. Hold on, is it here? There it is! You hear that humming sound, guys? That's how you know the Grail is quite nearby. Now we put the Grail here and it will give us our next challenge. Comment down below guys what challenge you think it will be. If you played the game before you might know. I think it's going to be the rats. Oh no! Oh guys I know what this one is. This is the um... What's it? The cemetery. I, you, pro you guys probably don't know what that is but um... Okay so let's read our next piece of the um... I'm drawing. Sometimes I am bored. A, fr a friend and I usually spend our time pushing chairs and moving things from one place to another. Okay, sounds kind of boring, but okay. Once we build, built a very tall tower with boxes that reached the roof of the laundry. It was so high that the child with blue hands <coughs> scaled it and escaped from the laundry through a hole in the roof. Dad, Mom, I wish you had seen what a beautiful tower I built. I'm not gonna lie, I really, I genuinely feel sorry for these kids, cause um... If you guys haven't caught on yet, there's um... Down in the laundry area, this nun is hiding a bunch of kids that are kidnapped. Okay, so... I've done all these mask challenges before, so let me just try and remember how this one goes. Okay. Oh, you're just gonna follow me and not make any noise? Okay. I'm gonna drop the safe key there and I'm gonna ditch you. Hopefully I can loot- Hopefully you don't follow me out here though, because I kind of do need to be here. Is he gonna check in here? Oh, please don't check in here. Actually, you know what? This is a pretty big area, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so she's in that area, because I just heard a door close. Okay, guys, so the first step of this is kind of creepy. We need to dig up the tombs of the nuns. I know, it's kind of disgusting, but... I mean, what can you do? What can you do? You know, um, you, you're in a school, you've been kidnapped by this crazy nun, and you've got to, you've got to dig up the graves of the nun's partners. You know, that makes sense, right? Where? Where, where, where? I can hear it, but I, I can't... Oh, she's there! How did you get over there? Is the shovel here? Yes, it is! I remembered where things spawn. For the most part. Oh my god. Oh my god. Even though I... Every time, the way that this has got to a point where I just have to go through every corner so incredibly cautiously just to make sure that I don't get killed by this insane nun. Okay, wait, I need to... Right, so this is Sister Claire. We just need to dig these all up because one of the tombs... It's gonna have something we need, and the rest of them are just, um, well, you'll see. But the point is, we need to dig up all of these tombs. This feels quite immoral. Alright, guys, it's the last day. I think we can afford to buy back a few lives. We might be able to. I think, from what I remember, it's 50 coins per life in this mode. Okay, complete.
Clarions, if you're watching this, can you please fix that bug or whatever it is where she just... Like, she creeped up on me and didn't make any noise, even though she's meant to make noise. Same with ice cream. There's been plenty of times when Rod has just snuck up on me and ha hasn't, made an, hasn't made a sound. Like, give me back my shovel. Oh, you know what it is? She might have heard this sound. Yeah, that sound of it being knocked down, she might have heard that. Okay, there we go, we've got one of the things we need. Okay, I'm just gonna keep an eye on the entrance. Yeah, like every tomb I dig up, I'm just gonna... This kind of feels wrong, guys, because, you know, I'm digging up the graves of these nuns, and... Quite frankly speaking, that's not a very polite thing to do. Okay, now we need to get away from the evil nun. Yeah, in case you guys didn't know, digging up graves is bad. Very bad. Okay, let me lose the evil nun. I have a job to do here, evil nun, and you're making it much harder than it has to be. Okay, we've dug up all the graves. And once this evil nun decides that she's had enough running around the fi running around the graveyard for one day, we can actually get on to the next step of this challenge. This is just this is starting to feel like a game of hide and seek tag more than anything else. Okay, guys. So as you saw here, one of the graves had an earth stone. And if we go and put this in the door, no. we go put that in the door, we need the moonstone and the sunstone then. And basically what we need to do for the next challenge, guys, is you see here, 11 and 30. Now this step of the challenge is extremely difficult to realise. In fact, me, myself, I wouldn't have realised how to do this if it wasn't for having seen another YouTuber do it first. So, 11 and then 30, what we need to do is we need to go over here, and we need to set the time to 11.30, as in half past 11. I'm pretty sure, so... This gear moves the hour hand, if the nun creeps up on me while I'm doing this, I swear. There we go, now we can open the clock, and that has the moonstone in it. So, honestly, I'm really oblivious as to how you'd be able to- I knew it! I knew it! She just had to do that, didn't she? So, um, I'm quite oblivious as to how you'd be able to figure that step out yourself, but, um, never mind. Let's just go and put this in the slot. Alright. Moonstone slot, go. And then the final step to get the sunstone is um, a lot easier. Well, actually, well, it's a bit easier than the whole clock step, but it's still quite complicated. So what we need to do for this step is we need to go to the classroom, which I believe is on the other side of this door. Yes, it is. And here we see Sister Edna. So what we need to do, guys, is we need to go down to... Because if you remember... What are you doing there? Why? Okay, we can afford to buy back 
two more lives. And that is if we're willing to spend all of our coins. Well, not all of them. If we do buy back two lives, we'll only be left with 15 coins. And that's not an awful lot. So, um, let's try and get this done. We need to find Sister Edna. Okay, that's Sister Claire. Who are you? Sister Edna. There we go. And then we look at all of these symbols. So, triangle, almost F, and whatever else. That's the way I'm going to remember it. Right, and now we can open the drawer and get the sunstone, and I'm pretty sure the evil nun will have heard that, me opening the padlock, so let's just leave. Now we've got the sunstone, guys, we've pretty much, act we're like, we've guaranteed completed this challenge. Because there's only one step left, and it's pretty easy. So, we put this into the slot. We open the door, and here, what's that? It requires the safe box key. You mean the safe box key that we got from the drawer in the bunker area, and that I just happened to leave in the middle of the... in the middle of the courtyard? Yeah. Oh, of course you have to come. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. You know what? Chase me, whatever. I don't even care. Even if you kill me right now, I can still buy back a life. Although I pref Okay, she was not right behind me, but whatever. Alright, I know for a fact that the evil nun spawns up in the kitchen area, so she, in theory, she shouldn't be anywhere near where we are right now. Right, there we go, and we got the mask piece. Let's go. There's no coins here? Really? There used to be coins here, but whatever. That's not what we're here for. We got the mask piece. Let's go put it in the mold and complete this challenge. Now, she may or may not have heard me opening that vault. So I need to be a little bit careful. With normal mode, you see, I don't really know what she hears and what she doesn't. Because it just says she has decent hearing. Which is, which is also a reason why I might need to try hard mode. It's just she's much faster in hard mode, so... Maybe I need a bit more practice before I can do that. But anyway, who cares? Let's go and put this here. Now we know the drill, the grail is going to fly off. You can search for the next grail in the school. Great. Now, we've completed the challenge, but it would be quite cool if, um, if we could, um, if we could still win. However, I don't have the, um, I don't have the lives. Oh, she's near. I can hear the heartbeats. Oh, yeah, she's really near. Really, really, really near. I don't have the lives or the time to do the um, to do the longer escapes, so I'm just gonna do the one that I did at the end of the last video, but just decided to cut out. I'm gonna go and do the um, I'm gonna go and do the the easier escape, and I can I'm pretty sure I can. Um, Oh, I might not get an achievement for it, but... Okay, my screen just froze, and that scared me a bit. I thought it was the nun.
Well, there she is. It's a good thing I saw her out of the corner of my screen. Alright, I got the broom. I'm gonna hide in here, though, because I'm pretty sure she's still chasing me. Just to check one more time, everything is recording properly. Perfect. I can't have any hiccups in this video. There was a hiccup. That, that was a hiccup. Was she just standing outside that door waiting for me to, um... Was she just standing outside that door waiting for me to come out? Because it, it felt like it. But a bit off topic, guys. Comment down below, because I think the nun, as in the evil nun, I think she might have killed her, um... I think she might have killed the other nuns. Right, I'm gonna stand here, because that way, whatever direction she comes in, I'll be able to run away from her. Okay, she came from the direction I wanted. That means I can lure her out here and then lose her. Perfect. I just need to get the broom from here. Right, I dropped another painting. That should l lure her down s upstairs. Then we can do this. We get the cookies box. Oh, well, um, thank you for showing yourself here and not at a later at a later date, that would have been bad. Actually, you know what? This is perfect. Because now I know you're not upstairs, which is where I need to go to throw this cookie box down. Okay, this next step is really risky. Because I throw the cookie box down, but then I need to run. Because if she walked up there, that would have been a dead end. Okay, let's play the cheesy opera song. This time I'm gonna wait until I see her. Because I wanna make sure that she's upstairs for this step. There we go, now jump. I almost didn't jump down. That would have been... Because I don't have enough, I don't have enough coins to buy back another life, so this is really the last, last life. Okay, you know what? It's fine. Come on, chase me. I can lose you here. And I've got the master key I need to escape. Is it the master key? I think it is. I'm not dropping it down to check, because then she will catch me. Come on. Let's go! That time, you guys actually got to see it. Thirty-six minutes, I think it was. And I got 75 coins for escaping, not bad. Okay guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, Follow me on social medias, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Dragoon out.